Today in chapter 1.9, we're going to multiply and divide integers. And you can abbreviate multiply and divide. When we multiply and divide integers, here's the steps that we're going to do. There's two of them. First step is just to multiply, <clears throat> excuse me, multiply or divide the numbers. If it's a multiply problem, you multiply. If it's divide, you divide. And that's a symbol for numbers. Pound and an S. Second step is to count the negative signs. Count the negative signs. And what you have to remember is that two negative signs cancel. Two negative signs cancel each other. And I'll just box that in. And these are our steps. Multiply and divide the numbers, then count the negative signs. Two negative signs cancel. Now, rather than, rather than use numbers, I'm going to use letters. And we'll go all the way up to the letter K, A through K. So here's our first example, negative 3 times 4. Okay, remember, our steps are multiply or divide, and then count the negatives. Two negatives cancel. So I multiply 3 times 4, that's 12, and I count the negatives. There's one negative, so the answer is negative. Two of them cancel. I don't have two of them. I do have one, so the answer is negative. Here's letter B. Negative 3 times negative 4. Our first step is just multiply. 3 times 4. And then I count the negatives. I have one, two of them. Two of them cancel. So it's just positive 12. Letter C, we have 3 times negative 4. First multiply. 3 times 4, count the negatives. There's one negative, one negative sign. So the answer is negative. Letter D is negative 3 times negative 4 times one, negative 1. Our first step is to multiply. 3 times 4 is 12 times 1 is 12. Now we count the negatives. I have 1, 2, 3. Two of them cancel. These two cancel and you're still left with one negative. So the answer is negative. Two cancel, you're still left with one. So it's negative. Letter F, this is a division problem. 8 divided by negative 4. First we divide. 8 divided by 4, or 4 goes into 8, twice. I count my negatives. I have one negative. The answer is negative then. If there's only one, if there was two of them, it would cancel. Negative 8 over negative 4. So, first we divide. 4 goes into 8 twice. 
Now I count my negatives. I have your negative signs. I have one negative sign, two negative signs. Two negatives cancel. So you're just left with positive two. Letter H is a tricky one. The answer is not two. The answer is not negative two. First of all, I have one negative, so I know my answer is negative. But four divided by eight, this can be reduced to one half. The answer is one half, and there's one negative, so it's negative one half. Okay, I'm nearing the bottom of my paper, so I'm going to go up to the top. This is letter I. This is negative 1 times negative 8 divided by negative 4. Well, 1 times 8, that's just 8. And 8 divided by 4 is 2. Now we need to do, what we need to do is count the negatives. We divided, multiply divided, now we can't count the negatives. There's one, there's two, and there's three. Three negatives. Two of them cancel. You still have one left over. So it's negative two. Two negatives will cancel. Even if they're up and down or if they're sideways, it doesn't matter which ones. Any two will cancel. You have one left over. On letter K, this is the last example. We'll find the average. How to find the average with negative numbers. So we have five numbers. And we want to find the average of these five numbers. So let's total up our positive, total up our negative, and total up our positive. I have a negative four. I have a negative three and I have a negative seven. Okay, if you put those together, uh, four and three, that's seven, negative seven, and then another negative seven, four, three is seven, and another negative seven makes negative 14. Those three added together makes negative 14. Same sign, just add them. For the positives, I have zero and four, that's just four. Okay, so how much is negative 14 and 4? Because I have to add all these up and then divide by 5, because there's 5 numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Total them and add, divide by 5. So negative 14 and 4, let's see, they're different signs, so I subtract. 14 take away 4 is 10, and there's more negative. So negative 10. That's our total, adding all those up. And if you wanted to, you could have just put pluses in there and add it all up. Okay, so that's our total. Now we need to do is to divide that by 10, or I'm sorry, by 5. 
See, there's one, two, three, four, five. I divide that by five, and that comes out to be five goes into ten twice, and there's one left over. That is our average. We added them all up, total them, and divide by five. Negative two is the average of all these numbers. And I'm going to box some of these in, just so it's neat for me. And you can do the same if you wish. Okay, very good.